All right, all right. Sorry that took so long. I really want to avoid using using up one of my lives there, but at least now we can move forward. And let's see. I know there's some dungeons along the way. I guess we can stop at one and see if, if that death took out all of my gun power. I can't remember if we tested that yet. It might have. I might be at zero now. So if we can find a dungeon here, we'll at least take a look. And those guys, the bomb hand guys from level six, they're in the worst possible spot here right in my upwards moment, line of fire. Oh, man. Pink versions of the, the wall jellyfish. Not fun to deal with. Okay. So, that is a dungeon. But how am I supposed to get out of here? I think it's a unwise assumption to think that it's safe directly below me, but... Well, we're here. Let's can look. Yes, it, it did drop my gun down to zero. So, we'll take a side trip since we're already here. See if we can get some additional power-ups. Get close to max. And take that with us to the, the next boss. Or the final boss. Now, I do not know the layout of the miscellaneous dungeons in level 8 too well. I'm used to beelining it straight to the boss and then just trying to clear the level as soon as possible. So, we'll see how productive this is just on the way. And see what this gets us. And they're definitely wasting no time throwing all sorts of stuff at us. I'm pretty sure the floating eyeballs show up here at some point. Oh, I haven't seen one of those in a while. Ow. Okay, so they do shoot if you just walk past. And pink robots. Of course, I don't think the, the regular suit robots show up here. I could be wrong. a bit of damage, but at least we're moving forward. Level 1 pea shooter. Take this guy out. Whoa. Don't want to, don't want to lose the, the one gun level I've gotten so far in here. Pretty sure the laser sentries show up in here at some point too. Oh, just disappeared. Okay. All right, no gun levels aside from the one that I picked up on the way in, but getting more sub weapons and hover is important because I think in some cases if I manage to drop into an impassable zone. The only way out is going to be with hover, and I think that'll get me out of the, the area that I landed on in here. Because I don't want to risk dropping straight down into a certain death at this point. At this point, I just want to make it to the final boss. And that may that's probably going to take more than one try. And just given how careful I had to be just to get here... If I have to continue, then I'll probably just cut back to the boss. Because you guys probably won't find it too interesting to watch me inch along trying to make my way through to these spots. And oh boy. Ow. Wow. Okay. Gonna need to get some life back from that. Burned up all the hover that I got from there pretty much, and it's about a little less than half health. I think 
the critical path forward is to the left as it winds around. Let's see what we can find in here. Mm. Okay, this is where I'm going to have to do a little bit of trial and error because I think the path to the right was where we needed to go. Uh, or was it here? Hmm. Guess we'll find out. Ugh. Wow, okay, it just completely killed my jump. Okay, so just like before, we're back to the beginning of the level. And I'm pretty sure I'm on my last continue. So basically, I need to be able to get all the way through the level to the final boss without losing all of my lives. So I think what I'm going to do real quick here, I know this is going to be a little bit tedious, but I think I'm going to backtrack a bit to level 3 and grind some of the ho hover power-up guys so that I have full hover going into level 8 because right now having hover would make those first couple screens a lot easier and knowing now that some of those spiked areas can kill me easily I think it'll be better to just farm up a little bit since the little spinny guys are in here and be better equipped when we go into zone 8 since at this point we're officially not messing around and it's kind of like my last shot before I have to play through the entire game again and get back to where I left off in level 8. And so as you can see from the previous unsuccessful run, the amount of hazards and enemies they throw at you is pretty unforgiving in level 8. I think it's safe to say most of the hazards from every other zone and every, every other section of the game that we've encountered up to this point is going to be in full force in level 8, if not worse. Uh, we saw pink versions of the grubs, we saw spike hazards all over the place. In general, it's pretty unforgiving. I think that'll probably do for hover. Of course, now I'm way down on health. Maybe I can farm some up from the grubs here. Because I definitely, as, as you saw, I don't want to go into the final level with partial health either because those spike hazards can take at least, I think it's it was two pips, something like that. And that's definitely... Definitely not off to a good start, and I don't have any of my sub-weapons. So I'm not really well equipped to take those guys out now. So I may have just... made my life infinitely more difficult in my attempts to make it easier. Let's see if we can go down here. The spot we originally came out of when we beat the level 3 boss. We'll see if some of those swarmer guys are down here, because those guys are usually a good source of health. I guess if I really wanted to I could always try and backtrack all the way out of level 3 into level 2, but I feel like we're gonna, that'd be kind of a waste of time, so let's see if I can get some health back from the swarmers over here. Be a little bit stingy here. And this one wraps around. Nothing from these guys. Ah. Or what I could do just to save everybody's sanity is 
go back to zone two, grind up, get my health back, get my hover back, and then cut all of that out so you guys aren't just watching me run around mindlessly killing guys and then we'll pick up at the beginning of level eight and I'll start with start at the beginning of the zone with full life and full hover and then um, we'll just kick off the final run that way that because as I'm making tons of mistakes here this could be a little bit to just get fully stocked and it's kind of a waste of time to just sit here and grind through. So, the magic of editing. 